Hey guys, Chelsea here from Making Manzanita and today I'm going to walk you through the process that I usually take when I am choosing paint colors for our home and any of our renovation projects. And I'm going to kind of talk you through my process and then I'm also going to show you some videos that I have saved from when we chose the paint colors for this room that I'm in right now, our home office. You can already see, here's a little spoiler alert of what it looks like, um, but you'll see in the videos that I share later uh, my my process uh, kind of broken out in real life. So let's start by what I usually do first when I am looking for a new paint color. I usually go straight to my fan deck. You can see this one's been chewed up by my puppy, uh, but this is the bare fan deck and bare paint is usually the only paint that we use in our home. So I have this fan deck uh, that I got from bare but you can buy them yourself online. I'll put a link to the bare one. This It has been updated since this. I probably need to get a new one, but uh, these are probably about 20 or $30. Well worth it if you are choose a lot of paint colors because you literally get access to every single one of their paint colors and you can look at it at home rather than standing in front of that wall at the store that is super overwhelming. Um, so I like this. This is where I usually start. It's organized by color so I can break down, say I want to know, I know I want to have like a blue color. I can go to the blues and look at all the different options and hold it up to the wall. So this is where I start. Next, I usually go online and I type in the colors that I'm thinking about either on Google or Pinterest and I see real life examples of the color in other people's rooms. And this is a great indication of how it's gonna look like in different lighting. And I love looking at various different uh, rooms using that paint color. So again, type it into Google or Pinterest. You'll usually find some. For any of the paint colors we have in our house, I usually have a really detailed blog post tutorial or a blog post like an article sharing all about the color, the undertones, what it looks like in different rooms. Um, so everything you need to know about the color, I usually am sharing it on our blog. So I have a lot of paint color uh, informational articles for you. I'll link to those in the video description if you want to check them all out. So that's my next place. So I start with the fan deck, narrow it down to a handful of colors. Then I go to uh, Google and I look at those colors in rooms. And then I'll usually head to the store. And this is the first time I go to Home Depot. So then I usually go and I grab these and this is... Um, from the big wall of samples once they've already narrowed it down. And this is nice because it's a standalone versus on the fan deck, you have these other colors on the swatch and it's much bigger. So you can see here, this one's a lot bigger. And one thing I've noticed about when you're looking at the whole swatch, you may be influenced by some of the other colors that it's right up next to, whereas this is, it's just by itself. So it's nice to kind of see what it looks like as a standalone compared to other colors that may influence your eye. So I usually have it narrowed down to three or four, maybe five different ideas when I head to Home Depot and I grab these. These are free, you can grab as many as you want and take them into your space. On the back of these two, usually Bear has uh, more information about the color, but one thing I like to look at is sometimes it'll include what the undertones are. So if you can't find that online, it's nice to know um, what the undertones are. And undertones are a color that it may pull when you have it painted in an entire room and you may see certain notes of it. So it's like, if you're looking at a white color, it's nice to know if it has yellow undertones so that when you paint it in the whole room, you may see a little bit of yellow influenced in that color. So then I head to the store grab my paint cards and I pull those into my room that I'm actually um, putting the paint in. So then once I narrow it down from there, I take these, narrow it down to, I like to do no more than two or three, otherwise it gets a little too overwhelming for me. So I, I narrow it down to two or three and I head back to the store and I grab the paint samples. And those are little, uh, cans of paint that you can get at Home Depot. They'll mix it up with the color and you'll have just a tiny bit of the paint in the right color so you can paint it on the walls. And that's usually my last step in determining what our paint color is going to be for the room. I like to get the real paint on the walls. I don't rely on these pieces of paper uh, and I put it on all the walls in the room and make my decision from there. So that's my process that I go through every time we're choosing a paint color. I hope you guys enjoy this little look at uh, 
me choosing the paint color for this office. Let's take a look. All right, guys, things are coming along in the office. We have almost finished the shiplap ceilings. You can see up above, they're all hung and um, patched all the nail holes this morning. And now we're getting ready to paint. We're painting it with a um, just a white ceiling paint that we use on everything. Um, but it's looking good, don't you think? It's like a huge difference in here, especially with um, the new lights. It's so much brighter in here. Um, it feels way better already, so I can't wait to get the ceiling done, and then we're going to start on the walls. And let's talk about paint colors. Here are the paint colors that we have tried. Um, so this is, all of these are bare, by the way. Um, this is antique white. This is crisp linen. This is midnight in new york i'm pretty sure it's called and this is submarine gray so if i back up here you can kind of see this one is pulling more blue tones and this one is pulling more green tones but still in that like blue green camp that i kind of want to stay in um i'm really loving this one uh, love this one too but it's a lot more blue especially when you put some other green tones next to it um so I think this is my favorite, Logan agrees, um, but I'm curious what you guys would choose. Remember, we're doing all of the walls dark in here, um, and then there's some other fun stuff we have planned too um, that I won't give away quite yet. But if you're curious about the other colors I have here, um, you may be thinking like, why is there five colors up on the wall? Um, we are going to be doing some accent, um, painted accents, I'll say that with one of these two colors. So I wanted to see how it looked next to the wall color. Um, I'm curious to know which one you guys would go with. Again, antique white, crisp linen. This one's a little more gray. This one's a little more cream. And then these other colors, I have a fun like accent wall planned and I wanted to make sure the colors that were going on that were gonna match with the back color. I was originally planning with these two. Um, saw this with that, didn't like it. So I'm going with this. Um, this is meteorological, which it's pulling a lot lighter in here, probably because it's next to this dark color. This is the color we have in our guest bathroom that we just painted, our master, um, and our master bedroom, ba bedroom and bath. And then this is black bamboo. This is the color that we used on the mudroom cabinets recently. Um, so you can kind of see those two colors next to that. And then this is battleship gray, just like a really fun, dark gray color I love. So let me know what you guys would do. So you can see here, I've painted samples over here. I painted them over here. And I painted them over here. So it's important when you're painting samples up on the wall to do multiple locations in your room because the light is going to look different. Also, um, if you are installing new lights in your um, room, you wanna wait and make sure that's done first. So I was super eager to start um, looking at paint samples, but we needed to wait until our new recessed lights were in because this is the lighting that the room is gonna be in versus like when that other light was in here, these colors would look way different. Um, so just fun little tip for you guys. Like I mentioned earlier, the paint color that we ultimately went with was Midnight in New York, and this is how our office turned out. And you can check out this video if you wanna see more of that renovation. All right, so that was kind of a look behind the scenes of my process of uh, choosing the paint color for this office. As you can see, we went with Midnight by New York, which I love. Um, one thing I wanted to note is that you also can order something called Sure Swatch, or you can buy these at Home Depot. So these are, I've never used them, but I've seen other people use them and it seems like they work great. They're clear, sticky pieces that you can attach to the wall and paint on your color onto the sticker, and then you can peel it off, move it around the room. So that may be a good idea if you're not well, if you aren't sure about painting the walls and you don't wanna throw paint up on the actual walls, that's a good temporary solution that can be removed. I've also seen people do painting the color on a big like foam board, poster board from like the Dollar Tree. So that you can, again, move around the room. You wanna see it in on different walls, in different lighting. And again, like I mentioned in the videos earlier, you wanna make sure the lights that you have installed in the room are the actual lights you're gonna be using because that makes a huge difference. 
All right, hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, be sure you are subscribed to our channel and you have the notifications turned on. If you don't have that little notifications turned on, you won't be notified when we have new videos, which we share weekly videos here on YouTube every week. And they're always a DIY or an informational type video like this. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any other questions about the uh, choosing paint color process that we use, or if you want to see a closer look at the paint colors that we have in our house, be sure to check out the links in the video description where I've linked everything that I've mentioned here for you. All right. Have a great rest of your day. We'll see you next week.